I've been working in Trinidad for quite some time, and it's a really, really beautiful place. And we were working in the northern part of Trinidad, and there were wonderful mountains and forests. And then I started talking to some folks who were in southern Trinidad, and it was a very different experience for them, where there was a lot of uh, oil extraction in the area, and so there was all the streams that we were seeing as being really beautiful in the northern part of Trinidad, where the equivalent stream would be completely covered in oil and tar on the banks in southern Trinidad. And so that I got kind of interested in how the fish would be responding differently to those conditions than the ones we were used to in the northern part of Trinidad. Guppies are a really amazing species. They have this really remarkable ability to adapt to different environments. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, sometimes colorful, sometimes not colorful. And so really they're this wonderful model organism for understanding the way that animals adapt to their environments. We found that there were actually guppies in these oil polluted environments, lots of them. And so that seemed to suggest that, like all these other wonderful things guppies did, they would also be able to um, adapt to and tolerate this really heavily oil polluted environments. And so using this, this classic approach where you put into an oil environment guppies that are from an oil environment and guppies that are from a clean environment, we could see if the guppies from the oil polluted environments we're doing better in those oil polluted environments. But remarkably, we didn't find that at all. We found that the guppies from the oil polluted environments actually did, if anything, worse in oil polluted environments, suggesting that despite a long history of presence in oil environments, they had been unable to adapt to that oil pollution. So we were really surprised by this, um, this result because it seemed to contradict a lot of what we understood about evolution what that man right there was saying about evolution. So uh, this got us thinking more about it and made us realize that particular environments might be more difficult for adaptation. In particular environments that have never been experienced by that organism before, so novel pollutants. And oil might be one of those conditions. If a population has never experienced oil before and all of a sudden it's given oil pollution, it might be hard for them to respond to that through adaptation. This result was initially very puzzling for us, but thinking about it a bit more, it was clear that the guppies were the only fish, really, or one of the few fish that was there, which made us realize that even if guppies can't adapt to this oil pollution, all the other fish, their enemies, were doing worse. So their competitors, their predators, their parasites, all of these things had even more trouble with oil pollution. So you might have some species that's really abundant in a heavily polluted environment, not because it's adapted to that environment, but simply because everybody else is doing even worse.